Hey guys, today is August 15th, 2021, and I am adding on to this video. pieces and this is just some of the extras I've showed you all of the extra pieces that I had and so I have decided that I'm going to sew whatever I can together and then see if there's some kind of way I can put all of this into a back I know I'm going to have to add some more fabric I also think I may add a border to this quilt I just think uh, if the quilt finishes at 51 inches wide I tend to like quilts that are about 60 plus, like 64 to 80, like a twin size bed. So I may be adding on to that too. So if I do, I will show you the final quilt with the border on it. I'm not going to do any sewing. I'll just tell you about it whenever I do the completions for the month of August. But right now, my goal is to sew up all of these half square triangle or bias edges that I have acquired. So I'm going to start with that and then I'm going to see what other pieces I have left and go from there. So I'm just going to leave you running <laughs> and uh, if the battery runs out, that's where it runs out and then I'll come back and put in another battery when I go to the next step. But hopefully I have enough time here to show you this step. So let me tilt you all down. So on these pieces, all of my seam allowances were going the other way, and I just used my wooden iron to temporarily press them back the opposite direction. So I've got four of those units sewed and I will just quickly show you what they look like. I will be pressing all of these seams and then squaring these items up. So from these leftover units, I now have units that look like that. And I just wanted this seam allowance here to match. So that's why I made sure I pressed the seams the opposite direction for match point. Next thing I'm going to be sewing is I have, I think, about eight of these and then eight of these piece units from when I cut at a 45 degree angle they will also make half square triangles so that's my next step so I'm just going to lay these down so these as well and I will also be squaring these all up when they're all sewn together Take this other piece off and put you in this pile.
that's the last one so we'll go ahead and cut these off and then I'll let you see what these units look like so this is what we have right here and then we'll be squaring these units up as well that on the pile and then I had these uh, larger pieces that I had also cut on a angle and so I had some extra of these um, three piece strips so I'm going to sew those onto here and I'm just going to go down to the four corner line up on this four corner and then just let it hang off and then I'll trim the bottom of whatever doesn't fit so I know I'll have about a half inch or so that I'll need to trim off of these. this thread and I am going to cut these apart I am going to press all of these seams open maybe I'll decide I think I'm gonna press them to one side because it's gonna be my backing and um, I'll come back and let you see uh, what they look like all right I'm back with my pieces and I just thought that I would come show you what they look like pressed on these smaller units, I did go ahead and press those seams open. So I have four units like that. I will be squaring those up to a size. I don't know what yet, but when I get there, I'll do it. These here are half square triangles. And I will try to see what's the smallest one and square everything up to that. Or pick a number that's a even number so let's see if I was doing this if I'm at 10 here so I'm almost at 16 but I'm missing a little bit here so what I'm probably going to do is just square these up at five and a half I'm okay with them not being the same and so notice that on these half square triangles that I sew because we had uh, pieces right sides together wrong sides together it makes a big difference I've got four units like this and four units where they're to the side well I've got five units that's to the side it must be because I mixed one of them up here but that's okay because it doesn't matter which way these are going I'm just gonna be sewing these together it doesn't really matter <laughs> so let's see what else do we have I'm gonna be squaring these up to some to five and a half so they're all the same size and then I have these units here where they're a little bit longer it was like they were you know put on to the bigger pieces and I'm just going to leave that I'm just going to square up these ends and I might just go ahead and trim everything to five and a half I'm not sure yet I'll see when I get there because I've got to do this in too so let's see if I can even get five and a half yes I can easily get five and a half off of those two so we know all of these items are going to be five and a half and I think this strip set is still six and a half if I'm not mistaken yeah so these are six and a half so I'm not sure yet at this point if I'm going to trim things down or not but we'll come back to that later I still have other pieces here um, that I'm going to be incorporating into uh, these units here 
so I'm going to go ahead and square pieces up and then I'll meet you back at the sewing when I decide what I'm going to do I have squared these units up to three and a half inches and so I'm going to make this into a square that's going to end up being six and a half inches unfinished six inch finished and then it's going to go with these strips once I press and sew all of these together so I've got three pieces here so I've added a piece there and a piece here and I can do this twice although one of these are gonna have the piece going sideways like that <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is put this square in the middle and that's going to be one long row and these pieces that are five and a half inches I'm just going to sew these together in one long row and I still have two of these units left that I'll decide where they go once I get more stuff done if I add a border I'm anticipating that my quilt will be about 80 inches long so we'll see where I will incorporate these pieces and I still have other units here that I'm going to deal with at some point but let's go sew what I have so far these pieces together I am going to now take these and press them and I will meet you back at my um, cutting station so I have sewn some of the longer strip pieces that I had like the ends of my yardage I've sewn those all together and then I also sewed all of these together and then I added these pieces together added this blue in here and when I got through this end was a little bit short so I just added a strip and uh, now I've got that sewn together this piece here is all one section it's about 84 inches long and I think my quilt's gonna be 80 so a part of this will be cut off when I do my trimming but and it's going to also need for me to add a little bit more I need at least 88 to 90 inches so what for my backing to be bigger than my top so I've got that to consider as well so some of this will be cut off and I'm okay with that because it's a nice long piece on both sides so I don't have to worry about that so yeah we got this long piece ready and I'm trying to get this piece to the same length as this extra piece of fabric that I had left over from when I cut my border pieces so I have cut border pieces now and um, 
I'm trying to make it as long as that. So I'm going to keep adding pieces and then I will come back um, when I get either to having the back done or close to having the back done. See you later. Well guys, I got the back put together and have already started putting it on the quilt, on my quilting frame and realized that I hadn't even shown you all a picture of it, but I've got a long purple strip on each side and then all of my piecing that I did. This is, of course, the wrong side, <laughs> but I have been doing a lot of piecing. I had to put this gray here because I ran out of scrap fabrics that were already out, which I was what I was trying to use. And I'm hoping that I don't have to use this because I had six inch extra so I needed an extra two inches and so I'm hoping that I don't have to use this strip that I can just start quilting on this but we'll see when we get there and um, I had a piece that I'm putting on the border this is the piece that was left over from that and then any remaining pieces of uh, fabric I pieced together to make this back so I will make sure when I go on my deck and show the actual quilt when it's done that I will make sure that I show you the back side of the quilt as well. So I'm so sorry about that. Hello guys. I am outside on my deck to show you this completed back. I do have a portion of it flipped over my deck rails and I will show you that. And that's because I didn't want to get it into the grass cuttings. So I wanted to come up on the deck and show you the opposite side that's hanging over my deck rails. Also, that gray piece, I had to use it as a filler because I needed more room for me to do my uh, side grips when I went to quilt it on my long arm. So I was praying that I didn't have to use that gray and I did not have to use the gray. So ended up working out well. So I didn't quite center. I went down and then I got nervous about how far I went down. And then I ended up having a lot left on the other side. But that's neither here nor there. I wasn't trying to make a two-sided quilt, just trying to use up scraps that I had. Uh, I have already quilted this quilt, but I'm not gonna show you that yet. I will show you that in my August completions. But I did wanna come put a photo of the actual quilt back in this video. So I just randomly pieced all of this together, just made it fit, and then I added in the blue and purple fabrics to fill it out because I just needed something else and they were left over from previous quilts that I just quilted and the backings were already out. Just so happened that it worked for this project. So that's the end of this video. Again, come back and my August completions video to see what I quilted this quilt with and how it looks from the front. See you later. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye T-Quilters. Stay blessed.